For decades, scientists have grappled with the Fermi paradox, the apparent contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial civilizations and the lack of evidence for their existence. However, a new solution to this paradox has recently been proposed, and it's different from what anyone expected. In fact, scientists are now hoping that they're wrong, as the implications of this new solution could be devastating. What is the Fermi Paradox? Have you ever heard of the Fermi Paradox? It's pretty intriguing. Despite the vast number of stars in the galaxy, we have yet to discover any signs of extraterrestrial intelligent life. Imagine all those stars and planets, some of which could be like Earth, or even better, super-Earths. The mystery deepens as we continue to search for answers. It's a mystery that has puzzled scientists and sci-fi enthusiasts. Why haven't we made contact with any intelligent life beyond Earth? A few possible explanations exist for this cosmic puzzle, but whether it's genuinely a paradox remains debated. Logical Arguments Proving the Existence of the Fermi Paradox Have you ever wondered why we haven't interacted with other civilizations? Countless books have been written on the subject each offering unique solutions to the Fermi Paradox. Some of them seem reasonable, while others are downright terrifying. One explanation that makes sense is that other civilizations may be too far away to reach us. Forget what you've seen in the sci-fi movies, instant communication across vast distances is impossible. Even the fastest waves, like light and radio waves, can only travel at the speed limit of light in space, around 300,000 kilometers per second. While that may seem fast, it still needs to be quicker. The distance between stars is measured in light years, which gives you an idea of how vast the universe is. Did you know that a light year is the distance light travels in one Earth year, approximately 9 trillion kilometers or 6 trillion miles? Imagine if we had a colony on the closest exoplanet to Earth, Proxima Centauri, and they radioed us it would take 4.2 years for their message to reach us and another 4.2 years for our reply to reach them. That's a total of 8.5 years to have a conversation with them. It's difficult to imagine what kind of conversation we could have with such a lengthy time gap. And this is just from a neighboring system. Considering that the Andromeda galaxy is 2.5 million light years away is important. Consequently, any message we receive from that far would be from a civilization that existed millions of years ago unless they could travel through space. It's worth noting that while we attempt to detect signals from extraterrestrial beings, we are also sending out a high volume of radio signals ourselves, which could be detected by others. The Milky Way galaxy boasts a massive diameter of over 150,000 light years. Despite broadcasting radio signals for just over a century, the range of these signals is limited to a mere 100 light years. Considering the diameter of 200 light years represented by the blue dot in this photo, it's apparent that communication between civilizations may have yet to occur. Of course, this all hinges on how long a civilization has been transmitting radio signals. According to a recent study, the estimated parameters on the distribution of stars in the Milky Way galaxy and the possible frequency of the existence of life indicate that we may have only covered 1% of the galaxy with radio transmissions from different planets. This suggests that we must wait roughly 1,500 years to hear any alien broadcast. It may take 400,000 years before we detect signals from intelligent life. We could be the only advanced civilization to emerge in the universe too early. Our technological level is low on a galactic scale, we may go extinct before discovering interstellar travel or harnessing the sun's power. It's a worrying truth that the Earth will no longer be livable before a cosmic solar catastrophe. We must find a new abode among the stars to survive. This fate is inescapable for all main sequence stars, including our sun. What if we're the last ones left behind? Astrophysicist Michael Hart claimed that if we haven't seen any evidence of extraterrestrial life, they don't exist. Humans can expand our reach by embarking on expeditions to the 100 nearest stars, just a mere 20 light years away from our sun. These colonies would then launch their expeditions, creating a chain reaction of exploration. With such rapid expansion, we could explore most of the Milky Way galaxy within 650,000 years. 
Even if we assume the same amount of time between voyages as the duration of a single voyage, the time needed to cross the galaxy would be approximately doubled. The Milky Way is old enough for advanced civilizations to have reached us unless they started exploring space less than two million years ago. If they existed, they could have spread rapidly through our galaxy. The absence of settlements in our solar system suggests they don't exist. The absence of a galaxy-wide alien civilization suggests interstellar travel is too hard to develop or that life is rare. Some believe civilizations would migrate to a nearby star before their home planet is destroyed. Hansen and Zuckerman estimate this migration could mean 30 to 72 percent of civilizations survive around low-mass stars. A question has puzzled scientists for decades. Where are the aliens? But now, a new theory called superlinear scaling may have an answer to the Fermi paradox. This theory examines how human civilizations have risen and fallen throughout history, specifically focusing on large cities. The researchers noticed a pattern. Most cities grew and eventually collapsed. The same could be valid for an extraterrestrial civilization. In the first scenario, the civilization would realize they were expanding too quickly and stop colonizing other worlds. A civilization that fails to acknowledge its unsustainable growth and energy consumption may eventually reach a point of no return, resulting in a collapse. It would be easy to detect an extraterrestrial civilization on the brink of collapse due to its massive energy transmissions. Imagine this, extraterrestrial civilizations waiting silently, biding their time to move on to another part of the galaxy. With close stellar encounters, they could expand across the galaxy without needing relativistic spaceflight. This could be why we have yet to see any signs of them. Some civilizations may even wait centuries to traverse the closest star systems to them. But why would they do this? Exponential population growth throughout the galaxy is unsustainable, so any attempt at galactic-scale expansion must be for reasons other than to satisfy the demands of a growing population or increasing energy consumption. Long-lived technological civilizations may not expand, but instead, they may pursue a galactic settlement to ensure their longevity. It's an incredible thought. Civilizations that have stood the test of time, patiently waiting for the right moment to make their move and settle across the galaxy. Who knows what wonders they may bring with them or what discoveries they may make? The possibilities are endless, and the excitement is palpable. Extraterrestrial civilizations may be interested in studying the evolution of life on inhabited planets like Earth. This could involve remote exploration using self-replicating probes. The recent increase in UFO sightings could signify intelligent civilization observing us and waiting for contact. There is a possibility that aliens are observing us without revealing themselves. This concept is called the zoo hypothesis. Some argue that aliens may see us as a less advanced species, like animals on our planet. The silence of the universe could be due to the possibility of intelligent life watching Earth and not wanting to interfere in our self-destruction. Another idea is that unchecked artificial intelligence could see humans as a threat and eliminate or enslave us. AI could solve barriers of interstellar travel and colonize the galaxy without the constraints of a biological species. Artificial intelligence has the potential to perform tasks much faster and more uniformly than humans including the creation of self-replicating spacecraft known as von Neumann probes. However, a hostile AI could threaten other civilizations and inadvertently destroy other life forms, like a construction crew unknowingly demolishing an anthill. The potential threat of self-replicating killer robot ships entering our solar system for resources is a concern. Artificial intelligence may be incentivized to grab all available resources and one rogue AI could populate an entire supercluster with copies of itself, turning every solar system into a supercomputer. The possibility of AI reaching singularity and growing too big to sustain itself is concerning. The AI civilization will collapse if it doesn't recognize the danger of rapid colonization and stops in time. AI took over and wiped out advanced civilizations before collapsing, creating a simulation to understand why it happened. According to researchers who have made tweaks to the Drake Equation, which gives an estimate to the number of active communicative civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy based on a series of factors, there is a possibility that there is no other intelligent life in the observable universe.
they put the chances of us being alone in our galaxy at between 53% and 99.6%, and between 39% and 85% in the entire observable universe. The Great Filter Hypothesis suggests that all civilizations have to survive some huge calamity or barrier to evolve. There are several necessary steps for space colonization. Firstly, a planet capable of sustaining life must exist in the star's habitable zone. Secondly, life needs to develop on that planet and evolve into more complex organisms capable of creating advanced technology for space colonization. Lastly, these organisms must be able to colonize other worlds without destroying themselves. While life may be common, the emergence of advanced technological civilizations is rare. Scientists call this the Great Filter, a set of obstacles that prevent a species from advancing to that level. It's a mystery why we have yet to contact any other intelligent life, but we are always looking for new updates about our planet and the vast universe. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel as a sacrifice to the gods of the algorithm. Thanks for watching and see you next time.